Get that timer down. It's day 54 of the Flobathon Subathon 2024 for June 6th, 2024. And if somebody wants to do just uh, 200 bits right now, that would, that would start us off at 420. I think it's 200 bits. All right, close. <laughs> okay, now it is now it is 150 bits. Nobody before I start the timer. Bueller. Bueller. Yesterday we did leave. Oh, That's well what now she it's. Says. <laughs> That's what she says. Thank you, Battle Crow. And no thank you to 888 for messing it up. But here we go. Starting at 420. Pay no attention to the seconds. Um, but we left off at 65,350.66 megabytes. And if you've got your woofs ready, then I am ready. Woof! There we go. A little, ooh, a little bit of a delay. But we can continue. Indeed. Let's grab this dog. And continue west here to the far lands. The Butter Sword endures for another day. Despite many a crafting table breakage. And... A spider fight yesterday. The butter sword endures. So yeah, I didn't watch it live. I watched the highlight reel while I was eating breakfast, but the fourth Falcon Heavy Starship test launch took place this morning. The first stage did its proper soft splashdown in the ocean, which was surprising, but it seems to have done it. But then the second stage, the starship stage, there's a bug, there's a bug flying around in my office. Um, the last time it rolled and disintegrated, because I feel like just watching that last re-entry, I mean, it was cool because you could see the plasma and stuff, but it seemed like the fins like moved very slowly and like only had two settings <laughs> and like that was how it was supposed to control itself. On this one it seemed like there was some more finesse in the actuators. Um, so it survived much longer. That is until on the video feed the plasma and heat broke through the joint of the grid fin and was that, I think that was the upper grid fin we were looking at. Yes, the hinges, pretty much. Um, I think that was the upper fin that the camera was pointed at. I'd be curious to know what happened to the bigger rear fin. Or fins, or the other fins entirely. But yeah, basically... Plasma seeped into that joint and started melting the grid fin from within, which was interesting to watch. That was certainly a, a visual experience on re-entry physics <laughs> and heat. Yeah, and then a piece a piece that was breaking off like crashed into the 
the camera and like it broke the protective camera housing so we you could barely see anything it still seemed it did still seem to splash down okay it did the flip it relit some of the engines we don't know it didn't it didn't display that on the stream and then it kind of did come to a slow belly flop into the ocean I feel like it's possible that other we, we were getting two cameras, but it's possible that other camera died in and of itself. But yeah, I don't know how they're gonna engineer themselves out of that one. <laughs> like the grid fin not grid fin, but the flap fin the grid whatever it's called. The side it's got side flaps. Like, that works really well for, like, the subsonic earlier tests, you know, where they flew up and then just hovered down. Remember that? It wasn't with the super heavy, it was just on its own. Like, it works fine there, but I feel like that's just too much for going 27,000 miles per hour through the atmosphere. And, and have it be reusable, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's an important part of it. I don't know, like I said, I'm not an engineer. But I don't know how you could engineer your way out of that. There's only so much room you could work with in a hinge. So it's not like you could add thicker heat shields or something, you know? I wonder I wonder if they'll have to go with like I don't know, more of a fixed wing design with ailerons. You know, like the space shuttle had. Spooky noises. I mean, even after it burnt to a crisp, it was still actuating too. So it must be like the joint must not have any of the actual mechanics in it, which is smart. The mechanics must take place further up the body beyond the hinge. I mean, the other idea would be to do like what the first stage does and do like a, a boot, like a boost back burn, but like burn prior to re-entry to scrub off a lot of speed. But the problem with that is that that just takes a lot more fuel and is an additional burn that requires the engines to relight again. But I don't think that is necessarily feasible either. I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit of a quandary, <laughs> like seeing how NASA is kind of depending on it. The Starship designed to go back to the moon. Seems like there's a whole heck of a lot still left to do.
I don't know if they're gonna... Are they gonna try to, like, recover any of the stuff? Either from the booster or the starship? I feel like it would probably just sink. Designed to float. If it doesn't have any holes in it, <laughs> and based on the video, it seems as though there are probably quite a few holes in it. <laughs> that booster was an old design. The newest boosters will be different. Boosters or starships? Ah, Wolfie, you just pushed me off the cliff. Okay, that time I did it myself. Oh, and he fell. I guess that's kind of weird. I mean, I guess they get good data and stuff for it, but if they've already got, like, a new generation of booster and ship. They're, like, testing faster than they can test. Who knows? Who knows, though? We'll see. And when is the Boeing, uh... thing gonna dock with the space station? Or has it already done that? <laughs> like, that was, like, in process today. Oh, it docked. Alright. Well, there we go. <laughs> that answers my question. staircase it's a staircase <laughs> he's being a real noodle today I'm just gonna say that out loud helium leaks after docking was that it? what in the world did that have anything similar to do with the leaks they were having that they delayed the launch for? It's all good now. It's all good.
I guess no balloons for the party then. Helium leak. Oh, excuse me. the lava flow. That old chestnut. Contagious yawn, yawn deployed. I don't know why, but the word yawn didn't seem like the right word. Like, the fake word. A not real word. Are you not going to get that pig, Wolfie? shoulder or what Spooky noises. Gosh, excuse me. Oof. Oh, hey, wait a minute. My heater isn't on. My tea heater. My teeter.
It's on a mission. Whoa. Sell your house. The guy who says he's interested wants to flip it. All right, so make sure to put a premium price on it. Make sure you get some of that flipping action. Flipping action. That's what I mean. He's gonna try to flip it and sell it or rent it for more. He's a real big flipper. A regular dolphin man. <laughs> All right. Will the sword survive this? It will.
What else is new in the world? We're all running out of things to talk about. <laughs> subs to play new Minecraft. Like, to what end, I suppose. Magma. Man. I have to do this. This is this is meant to happen. That was entertaining, at least. <laughs> oh, you you reminded me. Even though you're not Armo, you reminded me <laughs> uh, that I need to pin this message. Hey, that's the po that's a positive thing right there. You're helping the stream. <laughs> Is this a bit? There are no bits. On my channel. That is, that is one bit. Oh, I miss Dawn on the final four hours, I said nine minutes ago. Let's pretend. They just switched accounts in a different tab.
Uh oh. With e each workbench, our butter sword grows weaker. I gotta remember to put down a sign, because we put down a sign when we opened, crafted it. Butter swords until the gold is gone. Good news. The gold is gone. <laughs> ah, I see. Carry on. Why is all the gold gone? Because we made butter pants. Which have lasted much longer than anybody had anticipated. Anticipated. <laughs> hot where everybody is there's a heat wave there's a hot wave in the western united states we're mostly out of it but like i think tomorrow it's supposed to be like 80 degrees <sighs> fahrenheit Houses are falling into the ocean in my state. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> oh, I thought it was supposed to be like super hot. In California, Arizona, Nevada, Oregon, Texas, that whole situation. Must be like 114 in Phoenix. A heat dome, as they call it. Dome. stuff open. Ninety two Fahrenheit. Oof. Yeah, if we do move. The different 
weather is <laughs> going to be difficult. Particularly humidity. If we go like east of the Gulf Stream. <laughs> That's something, that's something I don't miss, is humidity and mosquitoes. I don't miss mosquitoes. The mosquitoes of the Midwest. Fraud has to go to Phoenix for work in early September. It's still going to be hot there, I'm pretty sure. Spooky noises. Die. The Renaissance Fair is like a all summer you're working at a Renaissance Fair? Aren't those like Normally just like for a weekend or a week or something? Or is this a permanent establishment? Eight weekends in a row? Good lord. Yeah, I feel like the one out here is only for like a week. I've only been once with the girlfriend. I don't even know when it is. <laughs> it's supposed to be, I don't know. No, it was just pretty big. They had the whole horse jousting and fighting and whatever and 
course, I don't know. I I can't compare to anything else, so I don't know. We got the giant turkey leg, yes. That's where we got the idea to do turkey legs for Thanksgiving that year. <laughs> Instead of a whole turkey. In a Viking outfit? That's not Renaissance. That's not Renaissance at all. Vikings were much earlier in the time frame. <laughs> me Wolfie. Arden. You work at the leatherwork booth. I like that you call it garb. <laughs> is that is that the terminology? Proper proper terminology? My garb. My sweet, sweet garb. to do it. Oh, <laughs> so did Wolfie.
Any leather cod pieces? <laughs> cod garb? Made like 85 belts one weekend. You get paid per belt or per hour? Also, why can't they be pre-made? Must they must everything be custom? Oh, oh buddy. Taking out all the f the fun out of all the renaissances. Oh, good. Oh, God, I got all turned around from that. I was about to say, I don't know why I'm so tired, but I'll tell you why I'm so tired. Peepers. <laughs> Yelling. Seven gosh darn AM in the AM. Careful, Wolfie, careful, Wolfie, careful, Wolfie, careful, Wolfie, careful, my god. You had to just jump off the tallest part, didn't you? Oh, jeez. Get your belt while you wait. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not particularly good or entertaining to see and hear yawning all the time, but yeah. dying. $40 to however much you want to spend. <laughs> we won't tell you how much it costs until we're done with it. $40 can buy many peanuts. Hey, Wolfie. Oh boy. Nap time. Sorry, gross, but... Those papers. 
I got hair in my mouth. Don't touch your face. I'm, I'm, I don't want to, but I gotta get it. Got me crazy. <laughs> Bloop. An eight inch wide kidney belt? What's a kidney belt? It holds in your kidneys? I got holes in my abdomen. I need a belt to hold my kidneys in. So you can tie a kidney to your belt, which was the style at the time. Ah, like a piece of armor. I understand. People always stabbing for the kidneys. <laughs> Power right in the kidneys. <laughs> Is this it for our trusty butter sword? And through thick and thin. Nope. Lives to break another workbench. Sleeping. Woof indeed. Oh.
don't really need wool. And I am a hoarder. <laughs> Oh. oh wow. Whoa. <laughs> uh, we looked at each other from a distance. That was, uh, that was entertaining. Oh god, please be careful, Wolfie. You're not going to, are you? I did not think so. Good thing there's pigs in these here woods. The episode where Curtis silenced because chat is talking about furries. Probably. And Renfair. <laughs> Two things I know not nothing about. How do you determine when to start the flobathon? Uh, well, previously it was when we'd raise charity money. Once we reached the goal, we'd start the flobathon. But lately, since that's been hard to come by, just every year around the anniversary of March, when we started Far Lands or Bust,
I thought you'd been been to been to <laughs> been uh the uh, I think just once. I think I've only been once with the girlfriend. Unless there's a second time in there that I'm completely forgetting. Go back and wear the Hellblade outfit. That's the problem. The Hellblade outfit was only an outfit from here up. <laughs> Hi. Fairy fests? Pirate festivals? Now they're just trying to cash in. What's happening there? Farlander Fest. It's just standing around yawning. <laughs> That's what it is. For letting me sit in panel. <laughs> oh, balls! I mean, beans! I'm out of uh, beds. I was gonna try to make another elevated hidey hole, but that's, the, the time has passed. the hidey hole this might be the one 
Make it to beds. Make us some boats. Well, that's all incorrect right there. There we go. All right. Maybe I should make a sign. Because <laughs> then I won't have to break the bench again. Make a new sword now. I will do no such thing. I believe, despite the fact that I made a sign, I believe in the golden sword. I shouldn't have believed. I shouldn't have believed the golden sword. All right. Ripperonis. Butter sword. And... It died on a work. Oh. Didn't I say start? Workbench. <laughs> did it. Workbench did it. <laughs> what sign? Sign? What sign? That won't obstruct the bed. Let's go to sleep, back up the world. Workbench did it. Why voice change? Why voice change? It is different. Somebody mentioned that earlier. I didn't really hear it until right now. Hey! Ba -ba 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 but it was meant to be. It was meant to be. We started with 420 on the timer and we ended with 65,420.96 megabytes. Nice. We've had our fun with alternate dimension Susans. And we're ready to continue. Spiders everywhere. Left off at 65, 420, bow, 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 96, bow, 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 megabytes. If you've got your woofs ready, we will continue. But I don't know why. Without our butter sword, the rest of this journey just seems so unbuttered. <laughs> Woof! Butter sword! Workbench did it. Let's. Hear that buttery hidey hole. Oh, I guess I'm going without a sword for a little bit here. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Just the next time I place a workbench, I'll also have to make a sword. Thanks for letting me sit in. Hey, nothing to it. <laughs> I know you miss your sword, but don't worry. Things will get butter. <laughs> butter. Ah, uh, funny, because the word butter sounds like better. Menagerie of animals around here. Cows, chickens, pigs, and sheep galore. The swordless era. Swordless in Seattle.
Ah, I almost walked right into that one. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Unless Wolfie's on fire, it's fine. It's fine. Woo. Good gravy. Don't panic. Everybody stop panicking. <laughs> Is the subathon still going? Is there still a timer above my head? Oh, I lost a half a shirt at some point. I don't know when that happened. My mug warmer is sticky. Nope, there's no repairing of armor and tools. Yeah, on day 15, we entered the realm of half block offset, and that is the last jitter block offset we will see change until the Far Lands. So get used to it. gotten used to it yet? I mean, I was used to it on the first day. I did go back before I uploaded the F3 monuments to the archive website. I did test them all just to make sure they worked. And some of the jitters, <laughs> like some of the like early jitters 
I don't know how we survived them. Because <laughs> they're, they're like, brrr, it was like that sort of a situation. Like, at the two and three million F3 mark and stuff like that. They've certainly gotten better the bigger they are. How many stages of error are there? I mean... 32. <laughs> right? Because isn't it 32-bit? Oh, there's 32... integers that the decimal could be? True, technically infinite. Well, like the offset, the the uh, the floating point precision happens. It starts <laughs> at like two, <laughs> right? It like starts at like two blocks, and then four blocks, and then eight, and then sixteen. It's just so small that you don't notice it. All right, you don't gotta list them all. We get the idea. We only really started to notice past 200,000 during that first flobathon. What's everyone's favorite number? Everyone's favorite number is 17. The end. <laughs> ah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Question answered. I wonder what 888's favorite number is. Ooh. It's pretty funny how the this here, the second segment, at least so far, has been more lively. <laughs> and it, at least it feels like it to me. Boink.
Go. Oh, anybody out there own NVIDIA stock? And why haven't you given me any? My index funds do. I do find it a little, a little bit suspicious that the cryptocurrency thing was very much centered around NVIDIA and graphics cards. Caused the price and availability of graphic cards to go up. And that kind of fizzled down once everybody saw what the scam, although cryptocurrency is still a thing, uh, NFTs were. And then AI came on, and NVIDIA was very big into the AI thing, and so their stock increased by 900% or whatever crazy amount it has. If the next big thing ends up being something that only NVIDIA highly profits from, Fool me once and twice, shame on me. Fool me a third time, I say it's time for some SEC investigations. I'm one of these things, just a random stripe. Yeah, 2026 NVIDIA now says you can use your graphics card as a heat pump. And cashes in on government rebates for efficient home heating and air conditioning upgrades. <laughs> Iron sword it is, I guess. Boring old iron sword. Needs a new cool name like Butter Sword. Sugar Sword? <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. We got the weird boat hand. Lard sword? <laughs> Lard lad. You suffer from boat hands. Ozempic may be right for you. Oh. My boat hands are fixed. I do have too many sticks.
Oh, they're on my boats. Boing! Thanks, Wolfie. I guess that's better than taking damage, but still. Wolfie! Trying to get through here. Oh, he's getting me! Ah! He's biting my ankles! <laughs> what the heck? That was weird. That was like a low speed one. Maybe it has less to do with the teleporting and just more to do with something else. <laughs> <laughs> what a goober. No, I mean, we've already taken damage from him since the fix, the damage fix for him. Oh, fix my boat hands. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Got him. Does that make your butter pants go down? No, my butter pants are being held up by a leather belt that I bought at Renaissance Fair. <laughs> Will these be the final two hours, 20 minutes? Not today, but we'll see.
<laughs> Only time will tell. Snowball, but nothing to throw it at. Chicken. Nice waterfall you got there. This is your favorite Minecraft music? Is it Wet Hands? Bling, blong, blong, blong. You know how the song goes.
Oh, I did. I did order my gold leaf. Watch out now. And it, and it wasn't. There was no tax because it's a food. <laughs> it was listed as edible. I found that to be very funny. I guess why can't you just call anything edible and then not have to pay tax on it? That's a weird staircase to somewhere. Pushed me down here. Oh, and now he's drowning. Oh, shoot. Okay. Good lord. This animal being a real noodle today, isn't he? Pumpkins. Okay, not a lot of pumpkins. Thirteen pumpkins. Oh, that's not a bed. That's a bed.
Ooh, hey. I missed. Oh. Oh. Clever girl. I don't think Wolfie can get out of this one. <laughs> that was a dry pig anyway. I'm awake. Barely. <laughs> Oh, I almost didn't do it. <laughs> I love it when textures don't move. It's a great effect. <laughs> Sorry. Ah.
All quiet in chat. Jeebus, huh? I mean, I didn't sleep too well, probably. <laughs> the girlfriend was away camping in the hearse for school. took camping in a hearse in college. <laughs> Oof. Prep your flesh for two hours, two minutes, and two seconds. Here it comes. We did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What is definitely not the 23rd time this subathon. Oh, hello. <laughs> Down you go. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't have a boat. Never mind. It's getting actually kind of dangerous. I gotta, I gotta clean my mug warmer. <laughs> On this, the dawn of the final two hours.
It's also a candle melter. Yeah. <laughs> that part of it I don't understand. Because then it's going to melt the candle from the bottom up. And also, where's the candle going to go? Other than everywhere. <laughs> well, I suppose you should keep it in a candle holder. I like to warm my candles before I set them on fire. Oof, God, diggity dog. <laughs> Send in the clowns. Body is revolting against me here. I got itchy ears, headache, yawny face, sleepy eyes. Sticky, <laughs> the sticky mug warmer. Wax warmer? Well, it's supposed to be for those, uh... God, I worked at a candle store and sold these things. What are they called? The little... hockey pucks of scented wax. <laughs> Think pucks. <laughs> no, votive... votive is the little candle. Pluggy melts. What is the name of them? Tea... I mean, the tea light goes on the bottom. Flavor discs. <laughs> Aroma? No. Uh, God, what are they called? Like, they had a name. At least at Yankee Candle, they had a name. Uh... Aroma Borealis. <laughs> Wow. Disappointing cupcakes. <laughs> what the hell are they called? Um, Melty Boys. Tea lights. No, the tea lights are the little candle you put underneath to heat up the little saucer on top that holds the thing that I'm trying to think of the name of. Maybe they're just called tea light candles. No, because the tea light candle, tea light candle is the name of the candle. What am I doing? I meant, I meant to chop down this tree, not put down my workbench. Four years. Wax melts.
Um, God, they, I swear, I swear they had like a specific brand name. Not brand, but like. I don't think it was Melts. I don't remember them being called Melts. Pool of Melt. That's what the webpage calls them. Huh. That's gonna bother me. Hold on, I gotta Google it. I'm honestly surprised Yankee Candle is still in business. No, oh, I don't want your damn cookies. The car jar! Oh, I don't want 15% off my first purchase either. I just want to know what those little waxy guys are called. They don't even have... They changed everything. Yeah, now they have, like, in a separate subset. Tarts! That was it, Eternity! Tarts! I knew it! I knew... I knew there was a specific name. Ah, oh, Eternity, thank you very much for figuring that out for me. That was going to bother me until I figured it out on my own. <laughs> Wax tarts. That's right. You put the tart on the top, you put the little tea light on the bottom, and then it melts, and then you forget about it, and then somebody spills the liquid wax everywhere. They don't even have those anymore. Tarts. Scented tarts. You old scented tart, you. <laughs> Good lord. I mean, I guess you could put one of those in a bowl and put it on the mug warmer and melt it. Which would be a, a flame-free way to do it. Although I think the girlfriend has one upstairs that's with a light bulb. Like a light bulb heating element heats it up and melts the wax on top. Wolfie! Did you did you look that up, Eternity, or did you just know? the scent from the wick or from the wax? There is no wick. That's why it's a tart. <laughs> There's, It's not a candle at all. It just melts. And it's like a much, that's not a bad, like a much stronger concentration of the scent oils. No wicks! Ah, 
I guess they do also come in the shape of a little tart. They got like the ribbed <laughs> ribbed edges. So I don't know what that's called. The uh what's that called? On a, on the pie crust on the outside of the tart, the 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 decoupage, the tarting. It's the tart, <laughs> the tart of the tart. Does the wax still have a scent after melting? Well, yeah, because then like you blow out the candle or turn off the light bulb, and then it re the wax resolidifies, and then the scent goes away because it's solid. It's the same idea of a scented candle. It melts the wax and then releases the scent, except without the candle part. Why I've retained all of this, apparently only some of it, not the names of things. You know, you know, stop looking. You mean? I mean, eventually it will run out of scent and you'll just have a puck of wax. But then you just scoop out the wax and put a new one in. That's what she says. <laughs> ah, that's uh, pretty good. You can recharge the scent by dripping in some scented oil of your choice. Really? Well, we didn't have that. Not back when I was in the business. I guess now there's all sorts of those little diffusers or whatever garbage. Various scents. I'm not big on the smells around here. There was, uh, Cone, did Cone do a stream today where he, like, it was a FAQ, but for viewers? Was that today? Anybody? That was yesterday. Wow, okay. <laughs> Good thing I didn't fill out the form. <laughs> um, three diffusers. One for each nostril. Um, but yeah, one of his questions was like, if you're not planning on going anywhere and just going to stay home, do you bother putting on deodorant? And I was like, I don't wear deodorant anymore. I've just stopped. <laughs> I don't know if this is good news or bad news to be sharing. But it's much nicer. It doesn't stain my shirts. Now that you're married, it doesn't matter anymore. You're not incorrect. Um, don't get that weird clumpy, chalky mess under your armpits. I don't really sweat either, I suppose. Or if I do sweat, I don't really sweat from my pits anymore. I've grown out of that.
true. I am always cold. <laughs> I do have some strange vitamin or mineral deficiency that makes me freezing all the time. I'm in my sweatless era, <laughs> yes. <laughs> my big bloods. Carry the scent. I, like, I don't not smell. Like, I'll, if, after, if I don't take a shower for a couple days. I'll start to get a bit ripe. <laughs> depending on how close you get, but... Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm done. Done with the de de deodorant. For a while I was just on, like, the natural, unscented... No aluminum craziness, you know, just like the, the the basic natural deodorant. I think that's what weaned me off. I do remember just like as a teen through high school wearing like the antiperspirant deodorants that was like white and like being traumatized by like sitting at my desk in school and like having white flakes on the ground beneath where my armpits are. Did that happen to anybody? Was I wearing it wrong? <laughs> I... Can't be the only one. May have been using too much. I was an insecure teenager. Yeah, and then your t-shirts get all like, are grown stalactites. On the pits, all crusty and hard. The flakes were the deodorant. You put it on backwards. <laughs> that happens if you don't wait for it to dry before fritting a shirt on. Yeah, I was always running late in the morning. Yeah, this was the 90s. I suppose, is when I started wearing deodorant. Yeah, I mean, it was also like... Again, being self-conscious, the antiperspirant stuff, which is like really bad, because it like tries to stop you from actually sweating, which then like makes it worse. tried the gel stuff, but I didn't like that because it, whoa, it always felt wet. <laughs> Hello, cow. At least you're not rubbing crystals under your arms. I mean, since I'm off deodorant, I might as well. It'll have the same effect. Memnark, we're talking about armpits. <laughs> Quality conversation you've joined us during. <laughs> Just put some melted tarts under your arms. Or solid ones and they'll melt. And release scents like hydrangea. And beachside breeze. Pitarts, pitarts. All right. Um Well, this should be interesting. As long as there's nothing going in behind here, going in, going on. I don't know what to say. I'm touched. 
You're both touched. John Lego, thank you for 77 touching months in the sub tub. Much appreciated. Sub tub! That's a tier two as well. Oh, I just now noticed. That one added two minutes to the timer. Breathing holes. Beds. Couple boats. I will be. <laughs> Indeed. There's been no inflation. All subs are worth all other subs. Uh, although, if this goes as far as July 11th, then I suppose that's inflation because the sub prices are going up. But we already talked about that. Let's go to sleep and back up the world. Sixty-five thousand four hundred ninety-two point eight five megabytes. Waterproof, like my new shoes I just showed you. <laughs> 